Do this morning, rolling the dice says the Rhode Island Lottery is launching new online games to be played right in the palm of your hand. Casinos have been closed, of course, due to the pandemic, the state losing millions in potential revenue. Brandon Truitt, though, is joining us live at Twin River in Lincoln with more on how this all could work. Brandon. Hey guys, good morning. So this is essentially going to expand on the state sports betting operation, but you have to remember there are currently no sports to bet on. So they're saying that this option will allow for people to play these games either on their phone or their computer. Of course, as we would expect, there are going to be some rules and restrictions uh, to go by here. You will have to go to the RI Lottery website or download the app. We tried to do that this morning, but there's a maintenance message that keeps popping up. But once your account is created, and ultimately verified, you're good to go. All bets must be placed in the state of Rhode Island. Your location is tracked while you're using the app. And the Rhode Island Lottery calls this a win-win, saying that it's convenient for the customer and good for the state. The lottery is the third highest revenue stream for Rhode Island, and it has taken a hit during this pandemic. The lottery reported millions of dollars lost in the month of March, and Governor Gina Raimondo is saying that deficit is adding up. Our revenues have absolutely fallen off a cliff. It isn't just the casino, although that's our third biggest source of revenue. It's, as you say, pushing back taxes. Many people are out of work. Generally, the economy is softer. Um, that's much softer. The governor says she is in constant communication with Nevada's governor to see how they are planning to reopen Las Vegas. In the meantime, later today, we are expecting the first quarter report from Twin River Worldwide Holdings. The company's Rhode Island locations have been closed for more than eight weeks. Live in Lincoln, Brandon Truett, Eyewitness News.